Harvest of the Scarecrow The small farming town of Raven's Hollow was known for its vast fields and the legacy of bountiful harvests, but this autumn, a sinister presence had cast a shadow over the once idyllic landscape. The scarecrow that stood guard at the edge of the cornfield was not an ordinary sentinel. It was a harbinger of malevolence that would leave an indelible mark on the town. It all began with the arrival of a peculiar scarecrow. Its tattered clothes hung loosely over a frame of gnarled branches and its face. A grotesque mask of stitched burlap seemed to watch over the fields with an ominous gaze. The townsfolk whispered of its unsettling presence, but the harvest season pressed on, and the scarecrow became a silent observer in the background. As the nights grew longer, strange occurrences unfurled in Raven's Hollow. Whispers of spectral whispers and haunting melodies echoed through the cornfields. Crops withered in the fields, and an unnatural chill settled over the town. Even as the autumn sun bathed the landscape in a golden glow, I, like the other residents, couldn't shake the feeling that the scarecrow held a malevolent secret. Its eyes, though mere patches of darkness, seemed to follow my every move. As the weeks passed, I found myself drawn to the cornfield, the rustling stalks beckoning me toward the enigmatic sentinel. One moonlit night, a haunting melody drifted through the crisp autumn air. The scarecrow, bathed in the ethereal glow of the moon, seemed to come alive. Its limbs, once stiff and immobile, moved with an otherworldly grace, and the mask bore an expression that mirrored the spectral melodies that filled the night. Compelled by an unseen force, I ventured closer to the scarecrow, the air thickened with an indistinct murmur a chorus of voices that seemed to emanate from the very earth beneath the cornfield. The scarecrow's burlap mask contorted into an eerie semblance of a smile and a voice carried by the wind, whispered tales of a curse that had befallen Raven's Hollow. The scarecrow, it seemed, was no ordinary guardian. It was a vessel for the spirits of the land-anguished souls bound by a malevolent force that sought retribution. The harvests that once flourished were now tainted by the curse, and the scarecrow, an unwitting conduit, bore witness to the spectral tragedy that had unfolded. As the haunting melodies reached a crescendo, the scarecrow gestured toward the heart of the cornfield, a hidden passage. Obscured by the towering stalks, revealed itself an entrance to a spectral realm that lay beyond the boundaries of the living. Compelled by a sense of dread and morbid curiosity, I entered the passage, the cornfield, once a symbol of abundance, became a labyrinth of shadows that seemed to close in with each step. The haunting melodies echoed through the twisted paths, leading me deeper into the heart of the spectral realm. In the centre of the cornfield, a spectral congregation awaited, ghostly apparitions, draped in tattered remnants of farm attire, danced in the moonlit glow. Their hollow eyes bore into mine, conveying a silent plea for release from the curse that shackled them to the land. The leader of the spectral congregation, an ethereal figure with a face obscured by the remnants of a burlap mask, approached the scarecrow, it seemed, had once been a farmer and unfortunate soul who had fallen victim to a tragic fate. The spectral leader spoke of a betrayal that had cursed Raven's Hollow, a malevolence that clung to the very soil upon which the town stood. As the spectral tale unfolded, the cornfield transformed into a nightmarish dreamscape, the apparitions, now trapped in a perpetual dance of anguish, became conduits for the curse that pulsed through the land. The haunting melodies, a lament for the lost, echoed through the spectral realm, their sorrowful resonance intertwining with the chilling wind that swept through the cornfield. Desperation set in, 
As the spectral leader implored me to break the curse, the Scarecrow, once a victim, had become an unwitting harbinger of the malevolence that gripped Raven's Hollow. The only way to free the tormented souls and lift the curse was to confront the betrayer, the one responsible for the tragedy that had befallen the once thriving town. Guided by the spectral leader, I ventured toward the outskirts of Raven's Hollow, where an ancient farmhouse stood in silent decay, the wind whispered through the dilapidated walls, carrying the echoes of a long-forgotten betrayal. In the farmhouse, a weathered journal revealed the tale of jealousy, greed, and the pact with the supernatural that had doomed the town. Armed with the knowledge of the curse's origin, I returned to the Scancrow, the spectral leader, once an anguished soul, stood beside the burlap-masked figure. The Scarecrow's eyes, once filled with an ominous gaze, softened with a sense of gratitude as the spectral leader gestured toward the moonlit sky. In a climactic moment, the curse that had bound Raven's Hollow began to unravel, the haunting melodies subsided, and the spectral realm faded into the shadows. The cornfield, once a labyrinth of nightmares, returned to a state of serene stillness, bathed in the gentle glow of the moon. As the first light of dawn broke, Raven's Hollow emerged from the spectral ordeal, the curse, lifted by the revelation of the farmhouse betrayal, released its hold on the town. The Scarecrow, no longer a harbinger of malevolence, stood as a sentinel against the haunted past, its burlap mask now for a silent guardian of the fields. As I left Raven's Hollow, the once tormented spirits seemed to dissipate into the morning mist. The town, though scarred by the spectral tragedy, bore witness to the redemption of the Scarecrow a vessel that had become the key to unravelling the malevolence that lurked in the shadows of the harvest. Harvest of the Damned The rural town of Hollow Ridge, nestled in the heart of autumn's embrace, held a secret that whispered through the rustling cornfields a malevolent force that took shape in the form of a terrifying scarecrow. The townsfolk spoke in hushed tones about the cursed fields, warning of an unspeakable horror that lurked beneath the golden sea of crops. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the fields, I found myself drawn to the outskirts of Hollow Ridge. The scent of decay lingered in the air as I approached the desolate cornfields. The moon, obscured by thick clouds, barely illuminated the path ahead, but the rustling of dried husks seemed to guide me deeper into the heart of the cursed farmland. Amidst the towering corn stalks, I stumbled upon an ancient scarecrow, its twisted frame standing sentinel in the moonlit night. The air thickened with an unnatural stillness, and the scarecrow's hollow eyes bore into my very soul. Its tattered clothing flapped in the chilly breeze, and a malevolent energy seemed to emanate from the straw-stuffed figure. As I stared into the scarecrow's eyes, a haunting vision unfolded a spectral manifestation of the field's dark history. Decades ago, the townsfolk had committed unspeakable acts, and the Scarecrow had risen from the cursed soil as a harbinger of their collective sins. The haunting whispers of the condemned echoed through the wind, carrying the anguished cries of the forgotten. Driven by an otherworldly compulsion, I reached out to touch the Scarecrow, the straw felt cold and lifeless beneath my fingertips, but a surge of dread coursed through my veins. The scarecrow's mouth, sewn shut with weathered twine, seemed to stifle the echoes of its tortured past. As the night wore on, the scarecrow's malevolence intensified. The moon cast an eerie glow on the fields, revealing a spectral procession of ghostly figures that emerged from the cornstalks. The condemned souls, forever bound to the cursed land, shuffled with a mournful gait, their eyes vacant and filled with eternal despair. The wind carried the whispers of the condemned a tale of betrayal, revenge and the unrelenting thirst for justice. 
the Scarecrow, a manifestation of the tormented spirits, stood as a sentinel at the crossroads between the living and the damned, its twisted form harboring the collective rage of the Forsaken. As I ventured deeper into the cursed fields, the Scarecrow's haunting influence reached a malevolent climax. The ghostly figures closed in, their spectral fingers brushing against my skin, the air pulsed with an unseen force, and the cornfields seemed to warp into a nightmarish labyrinth. Desperation seized me as I realized the curse of the Scarecrow had ensnared me in its grip, the condemned souls once mere phantoms on the fringes of reality, materialized with a vengeance. Their anguished cries merged with the wind, creating a cacophony of spectral torment that echoed through the cursed farmland. In the heart of the cornfields, I stumbled upon an ancient ritual site a circle of stones surrounded by gnarled trees. The condemned souls converged, their eyes blazing with an otherworldly intensity the Scarecrow, now an ethereal figure at the center of the ritual, seemed to channel the collective rage of the Forsaken. As the spectral energy reached a climax, the Scarecrow's mouth slowly began to open, the haunting whispers, once stifled, spilled forth like a torrent of malevolence. The condemned souls, trapped in an eternal cycle of torment, sought retribution for the sins of the living. In a moment of desperation, I uttered words of remorse and begged for release from the cursed fields. The Scarecrow's malevolent influence recoiled, and the condemned souls retreated into the shadows. The wind, now a mere whisper, carried the remnants of the haunted chorus as, as the night returned to an uneasy stillness. As I left the cursed cornfields behind, a sense of dread lingered in the air, the Scarecrow, forever a sentinel of the damned, watched with hollow eyes as I ventured back towards Hollow Ridge. The moon, emerging from behind the clouds, cast a pale glow on the forgotten farmlander, stark reminder that the harvest of the damned continued, hidden beneath the golden sea of crops, and the scarecrow stood as a silent witness to the eternal torment that lurked within the fields of Hollow Ridge.